Hello children, welcome to the e-learning session. In this video, we will read about chapter number one of your reader book, The Messenger of Peace. Before that, you know, there are the many great person like Mother Teresa, Swami Vivekanand, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi and the Lai Lama. They have done many great things for the country, for the people. So let's study about two poor person named Neelu and his wife Neema. One day in summer, Neeru and his wife Neema were going to Varanasi, where they live. After some time, Neema felt hot and thirsty. They go to the pond and take the water. They also splashed some water on themselves. Suddenly, they heard a faint cry. Ek bachche ki roni ki awaj. They both are shocked that where this voice is coming from. It was a baby crying which is just beside the pond, hidden in the grass. Then they thought that they can't leave the baby like this. The baby will surely die without food and shelter. That's why they both have took the baby home with them to Varanasi. Hence, there is a no name of baby. That's why Neeru had decided to ask from the priest. Then the priest opened his holy book and found the name Kabir. Kabir means great. But the priest was not sure. He did not want to give the name of the poor man's son as great. So he called the other priest. Ne, dusre priest ko bulaya. Second priest also opened his holy book and found the name same. The priest became very angry and said to Neeru, You are just a poor weaver. Your child cannot be called as Kabir. Go and leave him in the jungle. Jao isi jungle mein chhod do. Now Neeru was frightened. He became scared. He became upset. But he could not dare to displease the priest. That's why he quietly took the child to the jungle. There he spread out a mat under the tree and put the sleeping child on it. But when he turned to go, he heard a And that sound is coming from God. This child will grow up to become a wise and holy man. Was shocked that where is this voice coming from? Yes, this voice must be of God. Then he pressed the child close to his heart, hugged him, and ran home as fast as he could. Firusni decided that he decided no matter what, chahe kuch bhi ho, he would never separate the child from himself. Wo apne se dur is child ko Kabhi nahi karega. Then happily they go to his house at Varanasi and live with child and his wife. So children, I hope you understand and enjoyed this story of Neeru, a poor Muslim weaver and his wife Neema. Thank you so much.